All right, we have an HDR photo here that we're going to edit from start to finish really quick. So most of the adjustments are gonna be made in the basic panel. Typically, I would just start off by applying one of my presets and going from there, um, fine tuning some things. Uh, but we'll start from scratch um, in this video. If you want to download my presets for free, you can do that there in the description of this video. So uh, let's bump up the exposure a little bit. Um, and then I want to change the white balance. That's the main thing I do after I apply the preset and try to find something completely white. So I just clicked on that dresser here. Keyboard shortcut W is for this uh, white balance uh, selector tool. And this is what I use most of the time uh, to find the right white balance. So uh, we'll add a little bit of contrast. Um, this photo doesn't have any uh, deep shadows or really bright highlights besides the window. This was late in the day, so uh, the windows are not too bright. So pulling down the highlights, bumping up the shadows like I typically would do, uh, doesn't do much for us in this particular photo. Whites and blacks, this is another way for me to get a little bit of uh, contrast. I like to have some area of the photo that where the pixels are completely white. So if you hold down Alt, you can see at what point that happens. So these are our brightest areas here. And then I do like um, to crush the blacks just a little bit. So you can see uh, by holding down Alt at what point um, the darkest areas in your photo start to turn to completely black. So I like to have um, a decent black point uh, for a little bit of contrast. Texture, I never use this pretty much. Clarity, a little bit. Dehaze, only for outside photos. A uh, little bit of vibrance and saturation. From here, the biggest thing to do is to bring back the view through the window. So we can bump up the exposure a little bit more. Um, in that in the room this is about where i want the room to be and then we can work on these windows so i'm going to zoom in here uh, you can hold down control on the keyboard to and then spin the uh, wheel of your mouse to zoom in and out now i'm going to hit k on the keyboard to bring out the adjustment brush and look at my settings here i have the feather all the way down the flow all the way up exposure all the way down um, doesn't need to be all the way down though. Um, and then watch, we're just going to brush in these windows real quickly. And now we have a good view again. That's about where I want it. Probably not that dark actually. Um, brush in everywhere. We're not worried about going over. We're going to fix this in a second. And I have some tricks to show you. Um, because as you can see, this looks like maybe it's going to be kind of complicated to fix all of the areas where we went over. So first trick is to, when you're working with the adjustment brush, you can't zoom in, but press down the space bar. Then you can move the picture around. You can click it to zoom back out, click it to zoom in. If you want to zoom in further, hold down the control key, then spin the wheel of your mouse, and then you will zoom in further or zoom in uh, further back. And so we're going to use these tools to uh, get nice and close into the areas where we want to erase. Um, so here is not going to be very tricky. I have some other tricks as well. but here might be. So we're going to be zooming in and out real closely um, and using some other tricks to erase. So spacebar, you hold that, zoom in and out. And then once you start zooming with the control key, um, you're then sort of like locked in this um, uh, with, the, with the hand here where you can move things. So just hit uh, spacebar again to go back to the brush. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and let's do this uh, window on the right side first. So, so click the erase brush, feather all the way down, flow all the way up. And first trick is, and you've probably seen this before if you've watched my videos, click once, hold down shift, 
click again, and then Lightroom draws us a perfect uh, least straight line. So hold, uh, so click once, then hold down shift, click again. So click once, hold down shift, click again, and you can change the size of the brush with the mouse wheel. So uh, let's click once, hold down shift, click again. We went over a little bit, but that's okay. When we're zoomed out, we're not gonna be able to tell. All right, now let's real quickly just do as good as we can with this um, curtain here. Then we're gonna hit A on the keyboard to turn on auto masking. And then we're gonna go over a little bit, just a little bit. And Lightroom does a pretty good job. Look at that. So that wasn't too difficult. Um, a to toggle that auto masking on and off. Hold down the space bar, let's go over here. I'm gonna turn the auto masking off. Then I'm gonna click once right here. Hold down shift, click again. Um, right here, let's click once, hold down shift. I'm gonna adjust the size of the brush and then click again. Let's try it right here on the left side. Okay, click again, hold down shift, click again. Okay, it's called the shift click uh, trick. Shift click trick. Hold down space bar, click once, hold down shift, click again, take care of that real quick. Okay, so now we're back to the areas that um, will benefit from the auto masking. So quickly take care of that, turn auto masking on, and then just go over a little bit and Lightroom will stick to um, the one side of the line where most of the brush is. Turn auto masking off. Uh, let's do most of it turn auto masking on and then just go over a little bit. It's not perfect, but it works pretty good. It'll be more accurate um, the more you zoom in. So hold down the space bar and let's in real quick. Let's see how we're doing so far. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we're going to zoom in here. Okay, turn auto masking off. Going to click once, hold down shift, click again, click once, hold down shift. Click again, right here, click once, hold down shift. Decrease the size of the brush, click again. Same thing, hold down shift, click again, space bar. And then click once, hold down shift, click again, space bar to move the photo. Um, maybe we could have done this all in one shot here. Hold down shift, click again. Okay, so now, we're getting to the interesting parts here. So auto masking on. Okay, we're gonna go over a little bit. It's kind of a tricky area because there's like a shadow and then there's this tree, um, but that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna hold down the space bar and the control key, zoom in a little bit more, tap the space bar to go back to the brush. Try to get closer, no. I think this is just a natural shadow that's there. Okay, so let's work on uh, this area here. I don't think this is going to be too big of a deal. So we have the auto masking on still. Yeah, this is no big deal. So, and especially when we zoom out, I could turn the auto masking off right here. Oh, that's not even affected. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, this leaf. Yeah. Decrease the size of the brush with the mouse wheel. Auto masking off. Let's see, yeah, there's nothing over here. Space bar to go down. A to turn auto masking back on. Let's actually turn it off and get most of this. Okay, A, turn it on. Yeah, look at that. It's doing a pretty good job, right? Okay, A off. Just take care of that area there. Space bar, click, zoom back out. And we've done a pretty good job there. That wasn't too difficult. So now we're gonna fine tune the sliders here. I'm not going to have it that dark. Let's put it right about here. 
And one thing I like to do is because we've uh, made it a little bit cooler inside, we want to warm up the outside a little bit. So most of the time, push the temperature up. This is right around sunset and maybe a little bit of saturation, some dehaze. Saturation, dehaze, and temperature, these are the main things that I add along with the uh, window uh, adjustments here. Maybe we can uh, bring the exposure back a little bit more. And that's looking pretty good. So all in all, that's pretty easy in my opinion. Not having to lug around, um, you know, a speed light, uh, using flash and um, going into Photoshop, doing these window pulls. I like to just keep everything in Lightroom, not carry anything with me besides my camera and my tripod to the house. I can be in and out of a house in 20 minutes or less. And um, it's overall, I've been doing this for a little while now. I think this is the simplest workflow for your average priced homes. Now, if you're doing like $10 million homes, that's your business, then you might want to start using Flash but um, simple HDR with the adjustment brush to bring back the view through the windows is uh, what I found to be the fastest uh, thing. So, um, and now I think, I mean, this photo is good. This photo is ready. You could fine tune some more things. We could bump up the exposure of the room a little bit more, just personal preference. Uh, maybe I would come in doing another, uh, do another adjustment brush brush in, I don't know, some more exposure to some of the darker areas, but I think this photo is um, ready to go. All right, that's it. And again, if you want to use the presets that I use, uh, they're in the description below. I apply these uh, to start off before I make any other adjustments. And then basically I just change the white balance, the exposure, and then uh, bring back the windows if I need to. But everything else is uh, adjusted by the presets. All right, thanks.